What's going on everybody? Welcome back to SoCal Exploring. My name is Scott. If you're new here, click that subscribe button and follow us on social media at SoCal Exploring Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter. Today, we venture to Halloween Horror Nights for night four for me. It's uh, been out for like three weeks now and this is my fourth night going, so this should be fun. This is our first time going to 80s throwback Thursday. So as you can see, I'm kind of wearing kind of an 80s thing, I guess. I don't know, not really, but it's a, it's a floral thing, you know. Um, so we're gonna go have some fun at Halloween Horror Nights, but we're not there yet. So let's jump right to Universal Studios Hollywood for 80s throwback Thursday nights right now. And we have made it to Universal. As we head down to the lower lot and the back lot. Here for early entry again. They really made it for early entry, actually. We are able to get in with our passes, our normal universal passes, and then get our wristbands so we can beat the crowd. Like I said, if you have a normal daytime admission, you can beat the crowds and check in early in front of everyone in early entry. But it feels nice to be back here at Hornets. Let's have some fun tonight. So what I noticed, I mean, if you have the universal app, you can check this too. Just go on the little park updates tab when you're at the park. They give you an update for early entry times, and essentially everything is open before 7 o'clock since there is no ceremony anymore. The monsters just come out at 7, but you can find the early entry times of when all the mazes open up on your park app, and then just go to park updates. So, pretty interesting seeing all the mazes open before actual the opening of the event, which is 7 o'clock, but it's nice too. Now, let's see how crowds are for Thursday night. Like I've been saying, they've upped their capacity. So, let's see if Thursday nights are a little bit less of people or if it's more of people than it was last year on Thursday nights. Because we came last year on a Thursday night and it was dead. So, hoping for the same result tonight. And we also came on a Sunday night that I didn't film because I wanted to enjoy it more. And it was really dead. So let's see if this Thursday is dead. Like I said, it's throwback Thursday, so it could draw more people, but hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully all the wait times are short today. So Ghostbusters is the first maze that opens down here, so that's what we're gonna hit first. We're gonna bust some ghosts, because busting makes me feel good. Then we'll hit Creep Show and Frankenstein meets the Wolfman, etc. But I mean, that last Sunday that we came, we hit Ghostbusters during early entry, and we ran through it twice because there was no wait time. So let's see if it's the same result today. Yep. Looks like it's gonna be a short wait. It says 15 minutes, but I mean, that looks like a zero minutes to me. This is the nice thing about early entry and nights like Thursday. You two, you hear him? No kidding. Just, uh, just give me the address. Oh, of course. They'll be totally discreet. We just had two solid runs through Ghostbusters because when we got out, it was still a short wait, so looks like tonight's gonna be good. Right now we're gonna run through Creep Show. And then Frankenstein meets the Wolf Man. Excited for night though. characters meet their cues and it's nice actually understanding what's going on in Grey Matter and Battle of Down because the new creep show Shutter series is out. So now I actually understand what's going on. Um, those are all on Shutter though. If you haven't seen them already and you're confused on what's going on in the last two parts of Creep Show, then they're on Shutter and it explains it all. As far as crowd levels goes, we ran through Creep Show twice, Ghostbusters twice, and Frankenstein meets a Wolfman once. So just to get an idea of how slow it is with early entry. It's currently 6.30, and we're gonna 
see what we can do down here, and if not, the line for like Killer Clowns is long, because I mean, I didn't really pay attention to it when we were walking past, then we're gonna go up to the upper lot. So, we'll see what's going on. Ooh, out of focus, out of focus. We'll see what's going on. Later on, during the night, they have a trivia band out here for the full 80s theme of the 80s Throwback Thursdays, and Beetlejuice hosts this concert. So that's cool, we may have to come back down here and see. Beetlejuice. That's something new that Horror Nights has never done. So I'm tasting the Star Court food, but I'm not tasting anything new. I'm getting the Demogorgon tachos. I tried them last year. I don't know if I tried them on camera though, so we're gonna see if they changed and see if I still like them here at the Star Court Mall. I paid $12.68 I believe for them. And my pass gets no discount because they have the lowest pass, so it's pretty neat. Up there on the Jurassic World building, they have the 80s Throwback Thursdays kind of projection thing right there. It's pretty cool. I think they have that in a lot of different places. Gets you in the fuel of the Throwback Thursdays. Now, I know they don't look appetizing, but they are. So I'm picky because it comes with sour cream and green onion, so I didn't get them with it. But this is chili cheese, hot Cheetos, and tater tots. It looks really nasty, but it's really good. I'll tell you guys if they've changed at all after I'm done eating them. So, just got done with them. Just as good as I remember. Solid 8 out of 10. I like them. I feel like if you are not a big eater and you get them with all the sour cream and such, then you're not going to like it because you just like everything on it. But honestly, I like them. They're good. Just like I said, just these that are, as I remember, 8 out of 10, I recommend them if you're just looking for something like to eat while you're at Florida. Oh yeah, these are the wait times I like. Let's go do the Curse of Pandora's box first. Let's see if we can get a couple run-throughs of it.
like four throwback Thursdays, they have these cool photo ops. Those are really neat. Those are right across of DreamWorks Theater. They also have one right across the way too. It's really cool to commemorate that, like you were here on a throwback Thursday. Something special, you know? I've seen a lot of 80s gear though. Lots of people dressed up in 80s themed stuff. When I'm over here with a floral shirt, it's not really working out. I love these two scare zones up front, but let me tell you, it's hard to take pictures up here when there's tons of people. Because then, you know, I can't get the scare out here in the picture. All I get is people with the back of their head. It sucks. But we're going to take a spin or a run through House of a Thousand Corpses right now. So let's go do that. Time to venture into Captain Holdings Museum. The monsters and madmen. We're gonna encounter Dr. Satan in there. Here we go.